welcome to Will It Fill It, a series of SOLIDWORKS video tutorials presented by the Demonic Group. In Will It Fill It, we take a look at adding tricky and problematic fillets using SOLIDWORKS. My name is Andrew Lowe. I'm an industrial designer with the Demonic Group. In this installment, we'll take a look at fillets that cross the parting line. So fillets across the parting line can uh, produce some wonky results. Here I want to have a much smoother transmission and not this uh, squiggly uh, line that adding two fillets to the model gets me. So let's jump into SOLIDWORKS here. So this part was inspired by an actual part we worked on for a client of ours. It's a uh, sandcast steel part. And I'm going to unsuppress this fillet here. Let's take a look at what happens when the fillet crosses the parting line. Note that the fillet is uh, different sizes on either side of the parting line. They're not kind of, kind of equal. They're, they're not touching each other. Also note that when I go to um, fillet this, I actually need to pick both edges Otherwise, if I only pick the, uh, say, one edge of the parting line, we'll see that the fillet just stops here. Um, this is because the parting line edges are non-tangent because of the draft required. So let's just uh, suppress that bad fillet. This is a technique we can use to manually uh, stop the fillet at the parting line and get a better result. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a sketch, and here it's just on the uh, default front construction plane. Uh, it doesn't really matter where that is. But I'm going to convert the edges of the parting line into the sketch using the Convert Entity tool. Note I have the on edge relation here. So if I exit out of this sketch, what I'm going to use this sketch for is the Split tool. And what Split tool does is I'm going to grab this sketch here, the, the parting line sketch, and I'll hit Cut Part. And here I can actually pick the two different bodies in the part. So what this is doing is taking my solid body, if I expand the solid bodies folder, note that I have two separate bodies split along the parting line. The bottom highlighted in blue and the top highlighted also in blue. So what this is doing is if I hide, I'll go ahead and add the, the first fillet. If I hide this top body, note that I've added these two new faces into the model that weren't present when the body was in, in one piece versus being split in two. So these two faces allow the fillet to stop here on these faces instead of the faces here and here above the parting line. So now when I go to add a second fillet, note that I have to fillet each body separately because I can't add uh, fillets to different bodies. But I still have two bodies. So I'm going to use the combine tool and what combine does is take the two separate bodies and with the add option I'm going to combine them back together and now I have one uh, solid body. So note that uh, my two edges, my parting line is not entirely uh, precise. I do have this little bit of a flat, this kind of sliver face here. If we take a look at the, the draft of this part, Note that I do have that correct three degree draft as required for this part. I do have this little bit of a sliver. Now this being a sand cast part, uh, it's probably going to uh, flash out here anyways and I'll need to grind the parting line off. So I'm not too concerned about this little face. But if I did want to clean that up and have um, this fillet perfectly match the bottom fillet, there's a way to do that and we'll take a look at that in the next installment of Will It Fillet. So, when adding two fillets across the parting line, sometimes we get a result that's not entirely clean, and I may want to go in and manually clean that up. So I'm using the split part tool to split the part in two. Here I'm using a sketch that has been converted from the parting line. Uh, note that you can use split to end fillets wherever, and we'll take a look at some other situations where using split to stop fillets can help get us the geometry we need later in this video series. Once I've added the two fillets separately, I can use Combine, and that merges the two separate bodies back into one body. So thanks for watching this installment of Will It Fillet. Please follow the Money Group on LinkedIn and YouTube. We'll be announcing new videos.